we get started, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt and the same makeup as the Hawaii Supplies video. Let's just say I rarely like getting into makeup unless I really have to, so I am filming both of these on the same day. Cool, let's get started. Hi guys, it's Cody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be announcing my next cosplay for the year, and that is going to be Catwoman Hannah Alexander Design from DC Comics. Now, you guys probably already knew I was going to be doing this cosplay because I announced it in my cosplays video, but I am finally going to be going full throttle into it starting now because I am trying to get this done for Anime Expo. I don't usually do project announcements, but I really wanted to take you guys on from the beginning all the way to the end, so I figured let's start with the pre-production. So the first thing I want to talk about is why am I picking this cosplay in the first place? Well, um, first and foremost, the dress is absolutely gorgeous. I've always wanted to try making a very blinged out gown like this. I watch like RuPaul's Drag Race all the time and I always envy those queens that have just like the most bedazzled, gorgeous, like expensive looking gowns <laughs> and, if, and I really wanted to try making one for the longest time so I thought this would be a great way to try doing that. More importantly though, I really want to try playing a different type of character. If you guys notice with me, a lot of the characters I like to portray are usually in the like cute, cool, or badass like categories, but this time I want to try doing a femme fatale kind of character. I don't really see myself as like a sexy person in cosplay or in real life, so I really want to try do something like that mysterious woman that could walk into a room and like probably walk out with every woman's jewels and their man on her arms. I want to try play that kind of character, which I normally don't do. And so when I looked at this design, I'm like, wow, this looks so gorgeous. It looks like a very classy Femme Patel character. I want to do it. So that's why I want to do Catwoman. All right, so the second thing I want to go over is what I already have. I'm going to be using um, all of the references that Hannah Alexander provided, including the one that is available on her Patreon. However, I'm not going to show that on camera, just to respect her um, you know, wishes to keep that as a Patreon exclusive. However, I will throw up pictures of the designs that she has on her public social media, just to give you guys an idea of what the design looks like. The first thing they already have on hand are the gloves. So I bought these opera length black gloves for a cosplay that I sadly never um, got around to doing. And you know what? I already have them, might as well use them. So um, as you can see, they are a little bit, I think, too long for the design. So I'm probably gonna have to trim it down a little bit and then add all the bling on here. But I really like this. I think this is a nice base for what I wanna do for Catwoman. And I'm really glad that I already have on hand because I don't really feel like making gloves from scratch. Those are really, really hard, you know, guys. No joke. The second thing I already have on hand are the shoes. Now, I had a f two different shoes that I had on hand, but I didn't really know which one I wanted to use. So I put up a poll on my Instagram story and... <laughs> you guys want me to suffer, don't you? Well, name of fashion, I guess. So yes, the ones that you guys picked on were these shoes. I bought these from Forever 21 several years ago and they've been kind of just sitting back at home in Hawaii and then when I went to um, go visit family recently I found them in my closet and I thought this is kind of cool this is Catwoman-ish so I grabbed it with me and brought them back to California I think they'll go well with the designs with all like the crisscrossing and all the like studs so um, the next thing I want to go over is what I've bought so far for the costume. I haven't bought everything, but I've bought a good chunk of what I need. The first thing is the um, pattern that I'm going to be using. It's a McCall's pattern, um, M7908, um, and it is a jumpsuit pattern because um, if you look at the design, there is a jumpsuit underneath, and then there's the dress. So I'm going to be using this as a base, and the reason why I picked this particular pattern is um, because it's meant for, you know, fabrics that are a little bit sturdier, which is good because I'm going to be putting a ton of bling on it and I need the base to be very sturdy. So that being said though, I have never worked with this pattern before, so I've got to do a few test runs for fit as well as how I'm going to alter it. I'm pretty much going to be using this pattern for the entire dress and I'm going to be um, adapting the uh, pants portion of it to turn into the skirt overlay. The next thing is 
majority of the fabric that is going to be for the dress itself. So I bought some organza fabric from the LA Fashion District uh, for the skirt portion. I picked organza because out of all the sheer fabrics I've worked with, I believe this one is probably going to be the sturdiest. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of bling on this costume. So I want all the base fabrics to be as sturdy as possible. So that's why I picked organza. Next thing for the uh, jumper portion is this matte satin. I love working with matte satin because it has this nice subtle sheen. It usually has a decent amount of support on there, but it's not like super gaudy and super shiny because um, shiny fabrics tend to reflect really badly on camera, so I didn't want to go for that. But I really like this matte satin. It's, you know, it feels nice and luxurious, and I got this fairly cheap. I think it was like five bucks a yard in the LA Fashion District. I also got some lining fabric um, just so that I could line the entire jumper. Pretty straightforward. All right, next up is the bling. That is where things are gonna be fun and that's where things are gonna be difficult. So I got this little like sparkly trim um, from the LA Fashion District. I didn't buy much. I only bought probably about a yard of it, but um, that doesn't really matter too much because I'm going to be cutting it all up and then rearranging it to fit whatever I need to fit. So I think this is really, really pretty. <laughs> So I'm probably going to be using it for the choker portions, the wrist portions. Uh, another thing I bought from that same store is are these. These little rhinestone things. Um, these are probably going to be the epaulets on the shoulder pieces and then I'm going to go ahead and add all the extra bling on here. I like, but I like having this as a little bit of a base piece just to build off from there. Of course, I also have a bunch of like loose rhinestones to kind of like just dazzle everywhere. I even bought more when I flew back to Hawaii, so I grabbed those too. And finally, the last thing I've bought so far are a bunch of sew-on rhinestones. I got them in like a ton of different shapes and sizes. And let me tell you, these things have been the most expensive thing I've had to buy so far. Like these cost more than all the fabric I've bought so far. That's insane. But yeah, so I bought them in different shapes and sizes, but they're all clear sewn on rhinestones. And I'm going to be using these to create all the patterns and then bling the entire dress out. Can't wait, it's gonna be so much fun. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Oh, uh, one other thing I bought for this costume, it's not really related to crafting, but it is something related to how the costume's gonna turn out. And that is um, some new lipstick. So I got the Fenty Beauty Stella lip paint. Um, I got this in the color Underdog. And, um, which is kind of ironic because I'm playing Catwoman. But the reason why I decided to get this um, is because, you know, I noticed in the reference photo she had a darker lip color on it, which I did not have. And I wanted a uh, lipstick that was going to be able to hold up under a mask. Both the Catwoman mask and the mask we have to wear at the convention center. So I got recommended to using this. And um, while I couldn't try it out on my lips in the store, I did swatch it on my hand. And let me tell you, it took so much effort to get it off my hand. So I think this is going to work really, really well. So that's what I've bought so far. Um, obviously, I still need to buy materials for the goggles and the cowl, but I'll get to that another day because this already costs a lot of money. <laughs> That is um, just the pre-planning stuff that I've done for Catwoman already. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are excited to see me put this cosplay together. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or if you want to tell me what you guys are going to be wearing for an upcoming convention, please feel free to tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more cosplay content from me. If you want to see me dance, please check out my dance channel. I'm uploading more there too. And if you want to support me even more, feel free to leave a donation on Ko-fi. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.